On the wild bee side, there are about 450 wild bee species in New York, and both wild bees and honeybees are very important for pollination, but people don't often think about bees beyond honeybees or beyond bumblebees, but yeah, there's 450 species. We are experiencing declines in honeybee colonies. Um, last year was our highest number of losses. We lost a total of 54% of our colonies, which is, it's, it's quite substantial. It's over half of our colonies, and it puts a lot of stress on beekeepers, both financially and physically and emotionally, to try to build up these hives and to uh, produce enough honey to make a living and also to provide pollination services to feed the state of New York. Bees and wasps get sort of linked together, but there are striking differences between them. Wasps can sting you over and over again. Um, honeybees will die after they sting you once. And the reason for this is because wasps are actually um, carnivores. They're meat eaters and they use their stingers to uh, kill other insects to feed their young with them. Whereas honeybees are herbivores and other bees are herbivores as well and they only use their stinger for defense. They look so different. Like you can have some bees that are helictids. They can be bright green and metallic. You can have other bees that are very small. Um, the majority of bees, statistically speaking, are solitary. They they live on their own, they don't live in a social community, they live in the ground, so they're ground nesters, they will dig out holes in the ground, um, and they don't produce honey, and they won't sting humans. So it's just a misconception. You also have to think about, you know, if, if they're feeling defensive, you're coming in, you know? So you talk to them, I talk to them, and I always start, before I go in, I do a little meditation with the bees. They'll respond to your energy. They'll go after people who are sick, and if you're stressed out and rushed, they'll, they'll rush you. It's great that people are excited about keeping bees, and honeybees are fascinating creatures. They have this incredible form of communication, a very diverse social system, and it can be relaxing just to have a beehive that you know you get to eat honey out of, and it smells great, and it's, it's just awesome. It's often been said that bees are responsible for one out of every three bites of food that we have. And there are about 12 major crops that are produced in New York that depend on pollinators to some extent. Some of them depend entirely on pollinators where they won't produce any fruit unless they have a pollinator present. Others can just benefit to some degree by pollinators, whether it increases the quality of crop that you're growing or the quantity, so the actual crop yield. Um, but it is concerning to know that without bees or declines in bees, we could be experiencing some version of food shortage and we don't even know what we would expect by that yet, but um, it's still worrisome.